what led us to Obamacare and some of the market distortions. Uh, Peter Klein from the Mises Institute is joining us. First, the progressives will say the free market has failed. Well, we could come back with, their, what free market are you talking about? Right. My friend uh, Sheldon Richmond once put it uh, quite eloquently. He said something like, you know, no matter how much government intervenes in the economy, any problems that remain, uh, sorry, any problems will be blamed on the tiny little sliver of freedom that remains. And health care is a great example. I mean, the market for health care is already among the most regulated of any industry in the U.S. or any Western economy. You know, financial services, education, energy. A few others would compare to it, but healthcare. Well, there is no free market in healthcare prior to the uh, implementation of the Affordable Care Act, and most of the problems that we see in the healthcare industry, problems with uh, getting medical services and so forth, are due to already existing distortions caused by government intervention. Now, I'll, uh, let's see if I'm right about this because I know this is what you guys do all day. 1964, Johnson administration, Great Society, they come up with Medicare and Medicaid. So they create this program that's supposed to deliver low-income people and elderly Americans these, uh, these medical services. So a lot of doctors say, well, I'm not going to employ my labor for this amount of money. I mean, what, are you, what are you, nuts? So right there, the government is dealing with a conundrum. They've just extended this program, but hardly good doctors are going to take it. Right. Then they come back with this new one. Well, hospitals have to treat people regardless of their ability to pay. Then the hospitals start accepting patients that can't afford to pay. They've got to pay the doctors that are associated with the hospital, but those losses have to go somewhere. Right. Then the insurance companies say, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, you're charging how much for that procedure? We know you're padding your losses. We'll pay 70% of that. Then, then, then uh, you know, uh, they get a bad rap. They say, okay, fine, we'll just roll it into the premiums. Yeah. Then the Democrats come back and say, premiums are too expensive. We've got to take over the insurance companies. Right. Now, I think what you've just illustrated is a great example of uh, what Ludwig von Mises uh, described as how intervention works in the mixed economy. And his point was that, you know, some there's some problem is identified and some well-intentioned person comes up with a particular government program designed to solve that problem or alleviate that burden. But that uh, government program always creates some other kind of distortion in the market, which leads to yet another problem that we didn't have before. So you need another government program to combat the second problem. It leads to a third problem and so on and so forth until you have a huge sort of regulatory morass of different programs that sometimes work in, in, at cross purposes, all you know, making a bad situation worse. There's a lot of very simple things that we could do um, to alleviate problems with the medical care market that don't require any government programs whatsoever. One would be to make all uh, medical insurance payments tax deductible to eliminate the current tax codes uh, favoring of you know employer subsidized health care programs. Uh, we should also allow insurance companies to compete across state borders, which we currently don't, to make the and market. That's what the Commerce Clause insurance. was supposed to do. I'm sorry? That's what the Commerce Clause was supposed to do. Exactly. What we want is interstate commerce, make insurance companies compete for customers, don't tie people's insurance to their employer, which is totally a result of the way the tax code uh, treats insurance payments. Let all insurance payments be tax deductible, and we could alleviate a lot of the problems that we have in the medical care market right now.